Good morning and welcome. It is Tuesday the 26th of April. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, um, hopefully a fairly short video. We'll do a recap of yesterday. We've got half stake day, two bets is all we've got today. Um, and then the golf is not till tomorrow. So hopefully fairly quick. All right, yesterday, frustrating day. We knocked at the door uh, quite loudly yesterday uh, and didn't get in uh, is the answer. So 20 on, 6.27 back, a loss of 13.73. I think that's eight Mondays in a row we've lost. The, the Monday before that, we had a really nice win. And so Mondays are still profitable. Um, but eight, eight Mondays in a row, I think we've lost, which is no fun at all. Um, <clears throat> okay, so what do we have? Daffy, uh, that missed out on a place by a short head. Dorado placed. The Whitmaster was about a length from being placed and Pearl Reef, Reef was a non-runner. So we only had one place on there. Very close to having three in a non-runner. But we didn't have it. So so a little bit back there. Um, this bet, this was the sort of the thir ranked third. Um, that didn't really get near enough. Jajem Pressing was midfield. Zoffman was a short head from being placed uh, and northbound. It didn't look on four. It didn't look like it actually got that way near, but it did get a bit cut up in running and, and should have probably finished closer. So whether or not it placed, I don't know. But that one uh, wasn't wasn't good. So we've got nothing back on there. We had a try at these unraced ones, and they both ran so green, so green. Um, so uh, so nothing back there. And then the main bet uh, was was building nicely. So we had additional that placed fourteen to one SP. Then approach the life placed fifth. That only paid Skybet and Betfred, as I think I've checked. Focus required then was massively disappointing. And then Dark Street was fifth, but that only paid for Bet365. So if you Bet365, Betfred or Sky, you got a place double of some description. Anyone else would have just got a single place. So really, really frustrating because it was a smidgen between everybody getting a place treble, which would have been a nice little profit to start the week. But it wasn't to be. So... What have I got today? Today, I will be mostly masquerading as a traditional professional gambler. And what do I mean by that? Uh, I've got, this is my main bet. And there are three really, really obvious races, right? So if, if you are doing this and making money and this is all of your earnings are going on here, the, the three races as a professional gambler you are looking at today, 210 Yarmouth, 230 Nottingham, and the 450 punches down. They're the best three races by a mile. Outside of that, I haven't found actually any value. I'm normally looking in under nooks, crannies, and caves to find all sorts of things. I haven't found it today. Today is not a value day. There are three really good opportunities, and I've stuck a fourth, a fourth one in there as a bit of a rogue. Um, so the top two are are kind of your archetypal, very short price favourite, and then you're looking at the rest of the market because. I don't like to go baffle people with statistics here because there's a lot of st statistics sits behind what I'm doing. But those of you who, who you know are well into this, no, I'm not necessarily playing statistical advantages all the time. So I'm not always betting on the statistically best races to bet on. Um, so I am trying to beat the market by reading form as well. And there'll be a lot of professional gamblers who'll look at what I'm doing and go, mate, you are amateur hour. That is not the best way because I'm not playing statistical advantages, um, which seems like a dumb thing to do. Um, so I'll be really upfront about that. That is that is how it looks. So I have an unorthodox approach to what I do. 210 Yarmouth. Um, I think Kant as well is the value play. It's it's probably not the most um, the most obvious, but I think it's the value play. It's got different um, trainer, but from a form in the book point of view, I just think it's really overpriced at 50. So I want to give that one a go. There are a few in there that are worth a little look, um, but have a really have a look. Go past that favourite and have a look what else there is. But I'm going Kant as well, 50s, because um, I, I just think the price is too big. 230 Nottingham. Australian Harbour, that is the most sensible choice, right? So it's the second favourite. It was 10s last night. It's back to 11 to 2, second favourite. From form in the book point of view, it's a very sensible choice. So stuck in it in there because I've gone a bit rogue, go sensible. Um, and then I'll, I'll come back to the third horse. The fourth horse, that's the only decent handicap today. And I'm on sit down, Lucy, 11 to 1. Um, playing six on Skybet. Most other bookies are five. So it's slightly better with Skybet, but hoping we don't get sixth. 
Um, and then the rogue I've put in there is Lunar Display. So in the 340 Punches Town, Sky are paying four. This is definitely a better bet on four. So there is 11 runners in the race. I'm pretty much ruling out the bottom five of the market. I'm then looking at six runners, which I think have all got arguments to say why they could or couldn't finish ahead or behind each other. Um, so if you look at ratings, it's all a bit blurry. Um, so Lunar Display to me is the value. Um, so it, it's, it's proven that it runs well on the ground, on the distance. Um, but I'm, So I'm basically saying there's six runners left in the race that could win that race. And Lunar Display is one of them. And it's the best value one of the six, if that makes sense. So if you're getting four place on Sky, I'm saying one in six, six horses could win it. And you've we've basically got so a four in six chance of being in the top four. If you're not with Sky, it's a three in six. So it's a riskier bet not with Sky because there's a chance this definitely could come forth. Um, but I've put it in for what I'm doing. And if, if, you're, if you don't want to take a risk, put something else in. So I've done it as a 25p each way, lucky 15. Uh, and then a 25p each way double on the two that I think have got the most value in, in essence in there. All right. That is bet one. And then bet two is definitely not traditional, just simple and boring and unexciting as far as most of you might believe. 8.30 air, Chucky Dunedin, two pound win. That's it. Um, I just think that price, that price is too big. It's 130 last night, 11 to four, still too big. If I was writing the book, I'd take it six to four favorite. Um, so I think it, it, two and three quarters is, is, a, is a big enough price than one and a half basically. So I'm doing it as a two pound win. So if the lucky 15 goes wrong, We've got two pound going on Chucky Dunedin to see if we can get something back. But if the lucky 15 does go wrong, don't lump loads more money on Chucky Dunedin just in case. It's a 10 pound bet is what I've done it. Eight on the main bet and two here to try and get something back if if we don't get a lot back of the lucky 15. All right, that is what I've got. You enjoy your day. Tomorrow looks like a better day. Uh, there's more opportunities tomorrow and also I have the golf bets. Okay, see you in the morning. Thank you very much. Cheerio.